Oh, man. In this video, we have Usher's mom reveals how Diddy put Usher in the hospital. Now, the only thing I could possibly think of from all the context that we have from all other videos that Usher is going to the hospital because he was just penetrated too hard. I know it sounds crazy, but that's <laughs> that's the only thing I'm thinking of right now. So let's find out. I know and people know that was around that in that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Damn. Yo, G Deal is at it again. Spilling y'all. And the plot just thickened with the Diddy and Usher situation. Allegedly, Usher's mom, Jonetta Patton, is also like, enough is enough. The record needs to be set straight. Remember, Usher went to stay with Puffy. Now, that was a business decision right there. Because I didn't know Puffy. I didn't know him. Child, if there's one thing Usher's mom should never have done, it was to allow Usher to go live with Diddy when he did. Because Usher is never going to escape all these stories involving Diddy. But did you know that after Janetta apparently found out what was happening with Usher at the flavor camp and Usher being taken to the hospital because of Diddy, she wanted to sue? Get seated, guys. It's messy. So Usher is catching more strays this time because he was mentioned in the latest lawsuit against Diddy by Lil Rod. Well, he wasn't exactly mentioned by name, but a redacted excerpt caught the attention of followers because it was clearly pointing to Usher. I mean, an artist who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency? That sure sounds like Usher, right? As for the context in which Usher even came up, apparently, allegedly, Diddy was bragging to Lil Rod about hooking up with two people in the industry, one of them a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, allegedly Meek Mill, and the artist who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. And now with Usher's name coming up again, apparently he's not the only one who is not having it. Sources have reported that his mom also wants to set the record straight about a few things that happened with Diddy. One of them allegedly being that Diddy is actually responsible for Usher ending up in a hospital and that Usher's Bro, mom that even bonkers, wanted to sue bro. Diddy. But even I'm before that, lie. when it comes to Usher's mom, there has always been the question about whether she knew what was going on. And and I would understand why some people would think that she was complicit because there were tons of reports speculating. Now we know why Usher be looking so loose in his dance moves. That's because he got a loose booty. Nah, let me see. <laughs> but bruh, that's just sad. You know, Diddy over here putting young Usher in the hospital, bruh. Come on, man about what was going on back in the day. You want to tell me that she never read any of them or nobody ever called her to tell her that something fishy was going on? The only thing Usher's mom previously said directly about Diddy was when she was asked how she was comfortable leaving Usher with people like Diddy and how she made sure people were not taking advantage of him. And she said that she had done her homework and knew it was the right call. I was assertive, okay? I did my homework. Also admitted that she didn't know much about Diddy at the time when Usher was first signed to LaFace Records, but she gave him to Diddy as a mentor and Usher moved to New York to stay with Diddy. What Usher's mom said was that when Usher hit puberty, he basically lost his voice and record labels no longer wanted anything to do with him. And Diddy, who was with him when the record label wanted to drop him, said he would take him and that Usher's mom just had to trust him. So she trusted him. And Diddy being Diddy, he totally took advantage of Usher, allegedly. In fact, according to sources, Diddy is even the one who turned Usher, but not because Usher wanted to, and stories have been told about some of Usher's skeletons as well since the Flavor Camp days. For instance, there was a time when he went to a gay club after some Broadway shows, and according to someone who also went to the club, everyone was in Usher's dressing room drinking champagne when someone came up with the idea that they should go to a club. That's when, the source claimed, the group went to a popular gay nightclub, saying, we weren't looking for a gay club, it just happened. I mean, most of us were gay, so we just went to a place we knew. The source then said there were half-naked men everywhere, and Usher didn't seem to mind, adding, Usher was talking all up in this guy's face. I thought the two of them were gonna start kissing. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes, but then I thought, this is Chelsea, so anything goes. About 20 minutes after we got there, a crowd started to form around Usher, and we decided that it was time to leave. We all had a lot of fun, though. I know he did. When it comes to the skeletons, Usher was also accused of spreading an STI by 
by two women and a man. There's a woman named Quantasia Sharpton, along with a Jane Doe and John Doe. Usher, Usher, I get it. You and Diddy have a situation ship and all that going on. But my next question for you is, what are you doing with Quantasia? Why are you messing with my girl Quantasia like that, Usher? That's, that's crazy, man. That's wild. Named Quantasia Sharpton, along with a Jane Doe and John Doe, who sued Usher, claiming they all hooked up with Usher, and they all said he risked their health by not telling them about his alleged diagnosis and were seeking unspecified damages. Of course, there's also the John Doe who claimed he spent the night with Usher at a Koreatown spa in Los Angeles and also got infected. Baby, these lawsuits were swept under the rug, and there were even reports that Usher paid $1 million dollars for it to go away. And the rumor mill is saying that this is the same diagnosis that landed Usher in a hospital courtesy of Diddy. And it's that incident that apparently pushed Usher's mom to sue. But there are people who still say to date that they don't believe that Usher's mom didn't know what was going on before that incident. Well, when Usher was asked by Howard Stern whether his parents were okay with whatever was happening at the Puffy Flavor Camp, he said they had no idea what was going on. Mary okay. J. Blah. Uh, they ain't know nothing about this. This allegation is also supported by the report that people who were working on Kim Porter's book before Diddy stopped it from hitting the shelves again said that Usher's mom confronted Diddy when she found out about what was happening and wanted to sue. Honey, what I'm having a hard time understanding is what happened with the lawsuit. Was Usher's mom paid off? Was she threatened? And why is it that this issue was coming up after Usher has been named in the latest lawsuit? Is it that she finally feels compelled to say what happened? Or is she no longer afraid of Diddy because he does not have the power he had all those years ago? Well, in light of the lawsuit Lil Rod filed, Gene Deal has confirmed that there was indeed a situation that ended up with Usher in the hospital. Baby, as far as Jane is concerned, Usher had no business singing praises about Diddy when he did his interview on Club Shay Shay because they both know what Diddy did to him. Now I'm telling that because you take enough with somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. I don't know guys, these days I also have to sit and imagine how Jean sat around and watched a lot of what Diddy was doing and didn't do anything to stop it. If you ask me, he gives some pretty specific details in a lot of his videos and I believe he mostly tells the truth, but he just watched it all happen without ever intervening. I mean, shouldn't he have gone to the police as this stuff was happening or something? It's 20, 30 years later and now he wants to tell all? Anyway, I'm not here to talk too much about Jean Deal. I just well, I mean, at the same time, the only reason I could think of that he didn't, why he didn't, you know, throw Diddy under the bus is because that was also his job at the time, too. Like, he's going to rat on the dude that he's working for and lose his own job. So that's probably the reason why he didn't do that thought he needed to be checked for being kind of complicit. Cause from the way he has been talking for years, this is not someone who has ever been scared of Diddy. Okay, as far as Usher is concerned, maybe he will one day speak his truth about what really happened when he was at the flavor camp. He already said during his interview with Howard Stern that the things he saw were out of this world and that as an adult, he would never allow his child to go to that camp. He has also said that when the time is right, he will include the details in a book someday. So. Maybe he just needs a little more time and a little more grace. As for his mother, as much as it has been reported that she's livid about Usher's name being brought up again, there are still questions about what role she played in Usher being taken advantage of by Diddy. Do you think she was complicit? Or do you think she was too scared of Diddy to do anything about it? Is it possible that she never knew what was happening until Usher went to the hospital? And if so, why did she still leave Usher with Diddy? So many unanswered questions, but let me know what you think in the- I don't know. I if it wasn't I think I think the mom possibly knew what was really going on in those situations, but she probably wanted the success and the money for Usher. Who knows? I, I really don't know. But just the fact that Usher ended up going to the hospital due to Diddy's demon activities, Usher was definitely a victim, which is very unfortunate. So comment any thoughts you have on this topic down below. I love you guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.